Hello dear friends, um, you're here because you're looking for a solution for those floors around your house in a really economical way or just the frustration of having carpet. Look at this material and how beautiful it looks like, right? This is called linoleum and what it does is that it actually comes in rolls that are about 12 feet, well actually 12 feet wide and then you choose the length, right? So in this case you notice that we're a little longer over there and we are missing a section. Even if we had it all the way stretched out, you still miss a little section. So we want to make sure that you go around. So how does this work? Well, linoleum is a really cool material to work with because now, of course, I mean, if you've seen other videos that I have, I love, I love installing uh, porcelain tiles and stones and I like to put hardwood floors. But this, I find it to be a really reliable material to work with, especially because it's really inexpensive. We're talking that this entire room that is about 14 by 13 will cost you around $150 or less for the entire thing. So, so you know, what are the important things to remember when you're working with this? Obviously that you need to have a little bit, I just made a little cut out here because I have a little leftover just to make sure that I was able to get a little of the material inside the closet, um, you know, around the transitions, make sure that you finish it up over there so you can put a little transition there. And you need to level. I wanna show you here uh, the sections that you need to kind of level. See, we have this, this patching material, this patching compound that you're gonna mix, you're gonna apply, and then you're gonna just kind of buff a little bit, grind a little bit of a piece of stone or, um, you know, something that will help you to take all the little edges out and then you will put it down so you will have a nice and straight surface. So go ahead and use a, a, a large spatula or something to make sure that you don't have no nails or staples and things like that. So let me show you this. This is what we do. This is, this is our day by day operations and many things that we do. We are repairing this floor before because uh, we just finished this beautiful bathroom with that porcelain tile. We want to make sure that everything looks fine. But here you can see the process. See, we uh, made a little patch over there, put a lot of screws around here, make sure that everything is nice and clean. And here's a roll of the material. See, we're gonna, uh, we're gonna uh, you know, extend it through the entire surface and we're gonna let it um, stretch a little bit because it, you know, it will come like in a roller. So you have these wave things. Then we wanna go ahead and look over here. So those are the transitions. Look at this material. That's a really old linoleum, but look how durable it is. And then we change over here to tile. Look how cool it looks like, right? It looks like real tile. And we went ahead and put it down. And then after that, we put the, the cabinets. Why? Because we wanna make sure, except for those that were already here. But we wanna make sure that you cover the areas underneath and then you know, no water is gonna damage your floors. That's how cool it is, right? So um, let me show you another room. And this one has already the cuts. Now the material that you see, the two rolls, one for here, one for the hallway. And these are the shoe moldings. The shoe moldings are gonna help us to cover the little corners and the area. So look at the difference when you already stretch one and you cut the excess around. Look how cool it looks like, look. It looks like a floating floor, but you don't have the hassle of cutting the stuff. You only need a knife. Then after that, what we're gonna do, now that it's nice and stretched, we wanna go ahead and put a little bit of glue on the area. So you're gonna pull it back, put a little bit of glue, put it back in. That's just to make sure that it will be on place and just in case they, they move something uh, strongly, they don't wanna mess it up or whatever. We have the glue and again, we are working. So this is not like a promotional thing or whatever, but here's the, here's the glue that we're gonna use, right? The multi-purpose thing, right? If you have surfaces that are really too abrasive you want to go ahead and use primer we have some primer for some areas that are a little too rough so that primer will help you seal all those things and we'll prepare that stuff for your uh, glue and all that and here is the patching material the patching material is the one that we have here look at that that you're going to mix with a with a with a mixer you're going to leave like a little soup and then you're going to apply right so we had this, this uh, floor all covered with a lot of materials and things that we took out. And now it's ready for um, the, the preparation and laying down that linoleum. Um, so see over here, we, we made the patch and now we have to just kind of take out the sections that are uh, like excess and all these little sections, things that, that are, you know, with a little leap. So we're gonna use a piece of, you know, cinder block or a brick like this one, we're gonna use like a, a 
heavy duty spatula to scrape all that out. I stopped right away, so I wanna make this little video clip. And then obviously, I wanna show you how to, uh, we're gonna lay this down. Pretty much you need you know, somebody else, it will be hard to do it by yourself, but you have a long shot. Um, so, you know, so that's why I'm gonna wait for my friend to come. We're gonna lay it down over here. We're gonna let it kind of stand, let it stretch. And then once we know that everything is fine, you know, we want to go ahead and, and and start cutting the edges. Don't forget to make sure that you clean all these areas really well, all right? So, let's continue. All right, so now we have this area nice and clean. We just pass a damp sponge, so we, you get a bucket with water and then you, you know, squish the sponge really well and just kind of clean over it really quick, um, just to make sure that you take all those little uh, impurities out and uh, just turn on the fan if you have a fan so it blows the air really quick and that's it so now we're gonna go ahead and take this big roll and we're gonna lay it over here so I'm just gonna give you a few minutes and then we continue so now we know that we don't have the dust after we use the vacuum and the sponge we know that it's not much dust inside there and we can work really well so here is the nemesis of the linoleum installation the issue with the corners and the edges around the perimeter now but don't don't get frustrated because that was my frustration before and uh, if you stretch your linoleum really well um you know put it as straight as possible so it maintains the the lines you can actually go ahead and put a really sharp blade keep a lot of blades with you for your utility knife and then uh start squeezing on those edges you know i learned that if you you know just keep pressing and you put your hand right before you make the cut you're able to cut it just by cutting it horizontally like about a quarter of an inch from the bottom you know uh, you're able to actually leave it nice and straight against the wall that was the biggest concern and actually you know with a little bit of practice you can do it remember that you also have you know uh, about three quarters of an inch so if you mess up a little bit it's not a problem because you're going to cover it with the uh, shoe molding anyway so if you notice over here i'm stretching the linoleum up so I can keep a nice and straight line and I can just kind of continue with the wall. And once it's, it's nice and flush, you're, you're able to see that, that it goes all the way down and it's in a very practical way. So the same thing over here, push your linoleum really well, um, um, press it against the surfaces, make sure that you keep a nice and straight line when you're doing all these things because the linoleum will tend to kind of you know turn uh, sideways, so when you make the cutting is nice, not, nice and straight, uh, you will be cutting a little more than what you were necessary to cut. You know, um, so um, that's that's the corner over there that um, is going to give me a little bit of trouble because I have like a two inch gap in between the wall and the um, and the fireplace. You know, the little wall is part of a, another bathroom that was kind of fixed. And um, so I have to make like a little little line that is like about two inches that goes all the way in. And that was pretty much it. So now in the uh, case of your kind of door frames and casing and all the stuff, you want to be curious as well. Um, what I do is that I use a really, you know, heavy duty um, spatula to kind of press down the little corners and make sure that everything, you know, as, as you put it down, it looks nice and straight. But those are the only sections that you see that are necessary to be really careful about because those will be exposed. So now when you overlap the, the linoleum from one room to another, you can actually decide where you're going to make the transition. In this case, I'm using that corner. But depending on the uh, area where you are, you can decide where to make those cuts and make sure that everything looks nice and seamless. So it's, it's not that hard actually. Now, one of the other um, cool things about linoleum is that because you can actually use the patterns to make your, um, you know, mend your corners or just put in a little section there, just just make a little a little transition between one piece and the other. And the reason is that we have 12 feet, and now we are short in about one foot. And let me show you what I did over here. If you notice, um, the pattern looks really, really, you know, good. But uh, in reality, what, what I'm doing is I'm, I'm putting one piece against the other and I'm using the grout line, um, the design of the grout line to cut right in the middle using a ruler, a knife, a really sharp knife and just cutting straight and making that little, that little piece, the, the mending of the two pieces 
there and that's something I'm gonna do over there with the leftovers inside the closet. I'm gonna use that to, to just make the other part. Obviously after that we're gonna put some glue, gonna let it dry and then stick it together and it will be nice and you won't be able to notice it. So that's why it's good. Well, one of the things that I normally don't do because it's kind of weird uh, or oh, strange because a lot of people is not, not around there is to actually have uh, you know the person that I'm working for uh, in my video. And here's Hector. Hector is a really good friend of mine for many, many years. And one thing that he can actually say, this house is for rent. And one thing that we can say about linoleum, because we're using porcelain tile over here, granite countertops and things like that. But linoleum has a lot of advantages. What will be one of the ones that you see that is good, Hector? See, but really, it's, it's very easy to clean up. That's very right. easy to clean up and you just spill something. So it's very easy to clean up or whatever it is dust. So it's very easy to, to clean. Every, every way is very easy to clean. Yeah, and not only that, but it's really inexpensive. If we put hardwood floors or carpet, right. Or you know porcelain tiles, ceramic is going to be a lot of work, and this one is it's practical. So it's, it's a good material for for a rental property, and it looks it looks decent enough. So well, let's continue. So that's it. Let me turn on let me turn on the camera. I mean, not just turn it around. I guess you can see my face. That's it. So this is what we do all the time. Obviously, I'll be making more videos with other cameras, kind of pointing at every step. But this is pretty much it. It's, it's a fairly simple and really inexpensive way of finishing your house, avoiding that carpet smell and carpet dirt around your house because of your pets, because of the little babies, because your muddy shoes and all this stuff, right? So don't forget to subscribe, hit that little notification bell. Now you can learn more stuff and save a ton of money, right? I'll see you soon. Bye-bye. If you made it all the way to the end of this video, now you're seeing this clip, it's because I deserve this little hand like that, right? And besides that, that you will subscribe to my channel so you can learn more things, how to save a ton of money and how to learn stuff that you may never thought that you will be able to learn. I'll see you soon.